Welcome back. Uh, we're going to add a rifle mesh to our character and set up the aim offset in this video. So we need a weapon mesh. So I've imported one from the skeleton, uh, the first person shooter demo. So uh, open up that project, find the weapons folder, right click on the rifle skeletal mesh and you can do assets migrate and then you select the content folder for this project the demo project and all of this stuff will get imported so once you have the skeletal mesh what you can do is you can come in here and do um, well you would create a new blueprint and we want to create one for a skeletal mesh skeletal mesh actor select that and let's call this the rifle blueprint so open this up and skeletal mesh component will be the rifle and compile and save that and close this then we open up um, the character skeletal mesh Go into atom folder and the skeletal mesh, go to skeleton. Now we're going to add a socket to one of these bones here. Right click on right hand and do add socket. We'll call this the weapon socket. Weapon socket and then right click on that and do add preview mesh and you can add the rifle skeletal mesh and the rifle will show up over here. So this is just a preview. It's not, uh, it's, it won't be used in the actual actual game. So we'll have, we'll have to add the rifle blueprint later on. To fix this, you first select an, an animation such as um, idle, iron sights, uh, that, sh that should work. Okay. Now you just have to move the socket around until the rifle is in its proper position. So uh, just go back to the skeleton tab, give, it has more room and then you can just select the weapon socket and then you can use these controls on this side of the screen to basically rotate and fix the rifle. So I'm just going to copy paste some values into this that work for me. You will need to ex experiment a little bit with this. Okay, so these values work for me and you can also use these controls uh, to just move the rifle into its proper position. Now, um, this rifle is not made for this character and these animations are not made for either the rifle or the character so this is not going to fit so you're basically going to need a custom mesh for a rifle t that fits everything or, or in any case this is the best i could do with this thing and i'm not too concerned about it because you can just replace the mesh with anything else and it'll just work now we need animations for our aim offset so what we can do is uh, we'll use this aim, aim space animations that, that have been provided with the starter pack. So aim space iron sights copy and if you open that you can see, well if you pause it you can see that it has all of the frames for any direction that the character can aim in. So we need to get specific frames out of this animation and the way we can do that is to create a new folder here and just call it aim offsets and then uh, go back here select this drag it to aim offsets and make sure you do a copy and not a move because the next step is a destructive operation and if you edit the wrong file it's, it's gone and you just have to re-import it again so make sure that this is not the original then double click that and in fact we can just rename it right now rename to cc which stands for center center and you 
pause it, take this, drag the slider to frame zero, okay, and then uh, hover on frame zero and use the mouse wheel to zoom in, and that didn't work very well. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, right mouse button to drag and the wheel to zoom in. So you want to zoom in as close as you can to to the first frame. Okay, so that's frame two, three, and one. So just keep that at zero and then right click around here and then you can do remove frame two to 102. Okay, and then you can cl right click here and do remove frame two to three. And then you can do again to remove frame one to two. And you're left with one frame. Okay, and it's it's just frozen in time. Or if you choose, you can have a, a few frames here. Maybe if you want to give him a, a little bit of movement, or if you have an aim space, or if you have animations like that. For for now, we're just going to use single frame animations and just pause that. Okay, and you save that, and just repeat the process. Go back here find the aim space find the aim space make another copy go back here and rename this to center right or it should be maybe right center and then just repeat the entire process all over again so I'm going to pause the video and finish making these animations and then we can continue. Okay, so we have these nine poses and now we just make our aim space. So right click animation and aim offset. And this will be for the atom skeleton. I'm just gonna call this my aim offset and yaw and pitch and these go from minus 90 to 90 and then just apply parameters okay so look for center center and put that directly in the middle Okay, so let me just, a few things we have to do before we can continue. Uh, select the aim offset and set the preview base pose to CC. Okay, CC is the animation that we just made uh, a bit ago. Or you can select the idle uh, iron sights animation. It's basically the same thing. We're looking for the first uh, frame. Okay, so after you've done that you go to all of these animations you've created and uh, look in additive settings set the additive anim type to mesh space and then select uh, select animation frame and this stuff will open up okay and then you, for the last bit you select cc again okay so you have to do this for all of these animations go one by one through all of them uh, look in the additive settings, set to mesh space, then select uh, animation frame, and then select CC in this drop down. And if you if you go down here for all of these animations, you're going to set this reference frame index to zero. Okay. Once you've done that, you just uh, save everything, go back to the aim offset. Okay. You have to go through all of these uh, animations and set them one by one. Only the animations that are to be used in the aim offset not not the other ones so you grab cc and put that into the center okay and don't worry about this and then you grab center left put that there center right put that there down center 
and down left and down right and up center and up left and up right okay so now we have our okay uh, this is a mistake here delete this okay so now we have our character he has a weapon mesh and he can aim it around and this is starting to look like a game character okay so just close that and save everything and that's it for this video and the next one we'll apply this aim offset in the anim graph to actually have the character aim his weapon okay then till later bye